So I think digital health in a nutshell is about agency giving people the tools and resources they need to resolve some of the human fallibles that prevent us from getting optimal care or, or adhering to the treatments that we've been, we've been given. So what's really interesting with, uh, with digital systems is that you create the possibility of making decisions and managing programs in a much more data-driven way instead of guessing. Uh, as we had to do in the past. Digital health for me means mainly two things. A way to strengthen health services and on the other hand it's a way to use the data that is collected in real time and make your surveillance of health an action-oriented surveillance so that we detect epidemics like we saw with Ebola but we can detect them in time and act upon it. Or with chronic diseases you can empower patients and act upon their requests. We often talk about it as the great equalizer, right? Where now everyone has access to this, this information. We may not have access to the same level of care um, until a phone can deliver a baby or give an injection or, or print out uh, drugs there still will be a gap. You know, it's not a panacea for everything, and I want to be very, very clear about this. When we think about what it takes to expand a technology that's been quite effective or, or well-liked at a 100 user level, let's say by a factor of 10 to 1,000 users, in most cases, systems can handle that added load. When you take that system and now add another factor of 10, 10,000 or even 100,000 users, that's when you start to, to put a tremendous strain on the technology itself and on the, the, the sort of architecture of that system that wasn't built to sustain the, the level of data that's flowing into the system. We need to invest in infrastructure and we need really uh, stringent uh, networks, resilient networks, which sort of could you know, ensure that we deliver the service on time with no delay. I think in the future we will see more services and application develop, which will be really demanding in terms of capacity on the networks. And so the networks of today also will need to evolve, and this is what's happening also at the research and development as we're moving ahead in the, in the new technologies and towards 5G connecting objects. So hopefully, we, as we move ahead with getting all these connected objects, we also uh, developing networks that are resilient enough to, to, to ensure that we get quality of service and quality of experience. And the hard thing here is not actually achieving scale. It's not buying those phones and doing that first training. It's making sure that we can sustain it. That the impacts that we demonstrated in that first year are the same as the impacts that we'll see 10 years or 25 years from now. That the health system is structured so as to, to, to reinforce and support, provide the technical support and the continued, uh, the continued foundation for that long-term uh, change. That leadership um, adopts these programs. And so for me, it's not, it's not a question of scale, but a question of beyond scale.